praise the most high hallelujah praise the one who sits far above the heavens hallelujah praise the one and the only living yah almighty hallelujah hallelujah and this is the day the most high has made that we the children of the most high we are going to rejoice and be glad in it amen and amen this is your sister lily ibiwari irufakuma first i want to say a very big thank you to all those who have been fellowshipping with me on this platform i want to say a very big thank you for your support for your like comment and share i want to thank the, the new subscribers um, I'm really, really grateful. Thank you so much. Thanks to those who are praying for me. Thanks to those who remember me that the Lord has touched their hearts to send their blessing, financial blessing. Thanks to those who are supporting this ministry, this evangelical um, charity ministry from those to internal life thanks to my partners especially thanks to those who yes are praying for me for me that means so much so i'm so grateful thank you so much and if you're new to this channel um kindly support this channel by subscribing don't forget to click the notification button so each time i upload a new video you will be notified now i want to let those ones uh, those new subscribers or if you're watching my video for the first time i want to let you know that i have been saying it over and over again i am not a regular uh, when i mean regular i'm not somebody that just run to i'm not a content writer okay i'm only a messenger um I don't just come out and do video, do video, do videos unless the Lord asks me to, unless it is something that has been placed in my spirit that I know that it will be uh, helpful to the body of Christ, then I will share. So, um, because I don't want to sin, I don't want to uh, make mistakes, okay? Um, so, the most high bless you. Uh, before I go ahead, I want to read, uh, before I share the, uh, the, the vision the Lord showed me. Um, I want to read a scripture that is so, um, a, a well-known scripture that most of us are familiar deeply with as a reminder. I'm reading from the book of Matthew chapter 24. I'll read from verse 3. And as he sat upon the mount of olives, the disciple came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall this thing be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. I repeat, this is Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. Seven. And Jesus answered when the disciples asked him a question. You know, they want to know, Bless me, Lord Jesus. Bless me. Sweet and blessed. Bless me. So, and Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive, deceive you. Hallelujah. Amen. And you know, um, for many, listen, this is King Jesus Christ, our Messiah, our soon coming King, saying to his disciples, because they came to inquire, they want to know what to expect towards his coming and the end of the world as he was teaching. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am. Christ and shall deceive many deception deception and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled don't be troubled for all these things must must come to pass it must these things must so that in other words we cannot pray them out this is not something you want to pray or fast away Jesus said it must surely come to pass but the end is not yet, for nations shall rise against nation. It is already up happening. For kingdom against kingdom, and this and there shall be famines, famines, and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places is already happening. The Bible said, Jesus said, and these are the beginning of sorrow. That means sorrow has not started, it's just warming up. All these things were seen. 
This is the beginning. This is a reminder of sorrow. Then shall they deliver you up, who those who believe in Christ, those servants of the Most High, those who are willing, you know, to stand up for King Jesus Christ. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and they shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake, the name of Jesus Christ. And then shall many be offended, many will be offended, it is already happening, and shall betray one another. You know, I just call somebody to, you know, stutter some things in the kingdom and they get offended and blocked me. You know, a lot of things like this will be happening. Many shall be, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another and will not hate in Jesus' name. Amen. And Sorry, and many false prophets, Matthew chapter 24, verse 11, and many, many false, fake liars, that's what it means, many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many, many, they shall deceive many, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, Lord help me, but, but, but he that endureth, but, sorry, but he that endured to the end, to the end, endurance. So endurance is patient. You need to be patient. You need to endure. You need to forgive. You need to you need to overlook. You need to ask the, ask the Holy Spirit to help you grace to endure till the end. The Bible said, For he that but he that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Trials, trying moments are coming. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preach in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. You need to ask for understanding. Then let, it, let them which are in Judea flee unto the mountain. Let him which is on the house top, not come down to take anything from his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes and woe unto them that are a child and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath, not, neither on the Sabbath day. For there shall be great tribulation. Such was not since the beginning of the world to this day no 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 ever shall be and except those days be shortened there there should no flesh be saved but for the elect sake the chosen for this chosen sake those days shall be shortened then if any man shall say unto you lo here is christ or there he liveth he said, there is Christ all there. Believe it not. I'm going to take that again. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ all there. Believe it not. For there shall arise. Second time Jesus is saying in one, one, one chapter. Second time Jesus is telling us. He's saying to you and I. He said, for there shall. This is the second time. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophet. And shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect behold i have told you i the lord jesus is speaking to you i've told you before therefore if they shall say unto you behold he is in the desert go not forth behold he is in the secret chamber believe it not for as a lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto you where so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. This is King Jesus telling us. I don't know, I wasn't even ready. I wasn't even planning of making any video. Or I wasn't even thinking. Because I was supposed to be offline from today. But something, you know, for some reason. Because I'm going offline for some time. By the grace. By the help of the Holy Spirit. But I just was sitting in my living room right now, and uh, there are some vi visions the Lord has showed me that I was supposed to share. That I'm just feeling reluctant um, to share 
which I'm supposed to have, you know, released them. So I was just, I wasn't even with my phone. Just, you know, I had coffee and sitting in my living room and it was just placed in my spirit to do this video. And because there are, you know, there are more than two or three uh, visions the Lord has showed me that I have not really shared. So the Lord placed one in my spirit, in my mind to share with you. Now I am not making this video to discredit anybody. I am not making this video to for any self um, glory or reason. I refuse to take glory. I am not that kind of person. Even if doing the work of the Most High, I am not owing anybody obligation. Okay? But as a servant of the Most High, we are here to serve. To serve the body of Christ. To deliver messages. To do His will and His work. And as I always say, the Lord said, Lily, when the beginning of my work with the Lord, He said, if you want to please man, if you are afraid of me, you cannot please me. You cannot work for me. The Lord made this thing clear. Clear. He told me and He gave me scripture to back up how He is with me. He made confirmation of people I don't know telling me to be bold, not to give up. I am not making this video for, to, for anybody to hate anybody. I am making this video to share. I know some of you will come and say, oh, why didn't you call this person and tell this person? Or why didn't you, the Lord will never tell you to come and make a public video about a brother or sister in Christ. I have read what Jesus, King Jesus Christ told us thousands and thousands of years ago, how he's warning us about false prophets and prophetess. I've saw false prophets and teachers. And that is the same thing Jesus warned us that we are disobeying him. We're not aware. We get carried away when people come and prophesy. When they look, you know, so real. The Bible said that they shall deceive many. Now, on this faithful day, I know I made a post. I think it was sometime early last month, um, early December or late November. I was minding my business, laying on my bed. You know, on my mattress in my room slept you know just doing my thing minding my business and i got up from a vision and in this vision i saw sister regina the reason why i'm making this video open because these people all of us including me when we want to make video when we want to say that says the lord we make it open we want to say that says the Lord, or the Lord shows us something. Both the lies, both the ones that are lying, both sorry, both the false prophets and the true prophets, they make it public. They make it public, either here on YouTube or Facebook or any media platform. You know, they make it general for everybody to see. And if you have come out to make videos and people have seen it, it has become public. It's become general. And if the Lord in his infinite mercy, in his kindness, in his loving kindness, has revealed something to me, Lee, and I know that somebody is out there has put it open, I have to say it open so that I will, anybody that wants to learn or have the discernment or want to take it to the Lord, to ask the Lord what this woman really is saying, is it true? It has to be open. I do not have to call the person, except it's something personal. But when it comes to do with the work of the Most High, when it comes to do with prophecy, and I know that I know that I'm working with the Most High, and the Holy Spirit has revealed something to me, I unless the Lord said, talk to this person privately, of which I've done it to one person, and what I got, the feedback I got was very bad. Okay? So I am making this thing open. Please take it to the Lord. To really, really fast and pray and to inquire of him whether what I am saying is true or false. Yes, take it to the Lord. But I also want to make you know that the Lord doesn't speak to everyone when it comes to the area of prophecy. Okay? It's either you listen to his warning through his messengers 
or you go to scripture and compare what this person is saying with the scripture, whether it's in line with the word of the Most High. Anything that contradicts the word of the Most High is not something you should sit down and even listen in the first place. When you listen, the Holy Spirit will minister unto you. If you have a very good relationship with the Lord, the Lord does not, you can take a matter to the Lord, you will decide not to speak at all. You will reveal to somebody else because the way the Lord works is different. If you're saying you take matter to the Lord and you will just speak like that, there are some certain people that have some certain calling, some grace upon their life that the Lord will reveal things to them. These are people you don't even, you don't even expect because his ways are different. I just wanted to make this clear to you. Now, in this vision, I saw Sister Regina. Harvest, harvest me, okay? I saw Sister Regina in the realm of the spirit, the part I remember clearly. As I was sitting um, somewhere, all of a sudden, I saw like a river, okay? A river, but the, the weather, the atmosphere of that river was not bright. It was a bit, um, it was a bit, Dull, let me put it that way. It was dull. Then I saw movement of people. I saw Sister Regina. She was wearing white in the realm of the spirit. White scarf, white top. I don't know whether down, but she was wearing white. Okay? And uh, the white she was wearing, it was, I'm not make. I don't, I don't think it was that bright, but I know that she was wearing white. Then I saw some other people, some other women, wearing white as well. But these women I saw are people I know for a long time. I don't know if some of them are still alive, I know. But the one of them was, that I could remember, was a, there's this church they call o -O -O -Bu, Olumba Olumba Obu. They call it spiritual church. It's a really demonic church. It is demonic. They serve man. I think this church originated from Nigeria in, in, in Calabar, you know, cross river state. And most of us from Nigeria knows that this church is a demonic church. They worship man, okay? They serve man. The Lord has showed me some vision about it. So this church is called O O O Bu, Olumba Olumba Obu. Go and Google, go and find out about it. Those are the people that I saw with Sister Regina. It's like she was part of them. Is that yes this is what the lord showed me and she was you know joined with these people and she was busy you know trying to for preparing people for traveling and she came to i i, I saw her and somewhere in the realm of the spirit i believe that i'm contemplating so i was thinking in the realm of the spirit um should i go with my daughter should i join her should i join her so in the realm of the spirit i was inquiring of the Lord, you know, in my spirit, in the realm of this, I was asking the Lord because I had a little doubt in me. So I was like, Lord, should I go? I, I wanted to be sure to go. I don't want to be left behind. And uh, I saw like a, a water drop. It was mysterious from inside the water. And as I was looking at the water, Sister Regina was backing the water. She was sitting next to that area. It has to do with river, okay? And then. Uh, I heard in my spirit, no, not yet. That's what I heard. No, don't go with this. Don't go, not yet. Like, no, this is not the, the path I should be going to be, you know. Wilderness, I heard it. Then the next thing I, I not told her, she said, oh, I not told her that. She was waiting for me to say yes or no. So I not said, no, I am not coming. And the Lord said in the realm of the spirit, you know, in the spirit, he said, when it's time, I will let you know, you know. And I said, okay, so I told her, I said, she was like waiting for me to, for, to follow them. And I said, no, I'm not coming. So immediately I said, I'm not coming. She was so disappointed. She felt so disappointed. She was so worried. She said, oh, eh, but I, I have already bought tents. That's what she said. For you and your daughter. I bought two tents for you and your daughter. Why are you not coming? You should come. I said, no, I'm not coming. And she didn't like it in the realm of the spirit. A kind of, you know, she was so disappointed. 
and this is a part I remember. I'm not going to add. I'm not going to add on. And it was a clear vision. So when I woke up, I was contemplating. I was like quiet, you know. Lately, I've been so distracted, so it's affecting my um my memory of, of you know spiritual things because it's been I give most I praise for the beginning of another 365 days according to man's calendar. Um normally when I woke up and it, it's a clear vision, so it's not something I want to really take to the Lord. So, so I was waiting for the Lord to speak. So I started, you know, meditating from the book, from the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation. I have never seen where the Lord asks a woman to lead his people. Apart from Miriam, women have some role to play in the body of Christ. I have never seen where the Lord asks a woman to lead his people. When King Jesus Christ, I just want to bring this truth out so you too, you can meditate, you can take it to the Lord, follow Bible, not man, follow the word of the Most High. I've never seen where the Lord tell a woman to lead people. When King Jesus chose his disciples, he chose all men, 12 of them, one between them. One denied him, but Jesus has already prayed for Peter from the beginning. Egypt, when the Lord said he wants to bring out his people from you know, Egypt, from their enemy, the Lord sent Aaron, uh, sorry, Moses and Aaron his mouthpiece to help Moses. <laughs> I have never seen where the Lord asked a woman to lead his people. Women has role to play, they can do some things, you know, help. So for me, and there's, I want to make some point out that Sarah Regina said, she said, um, there was a day she made a video and she said, Ghana and Nigeria is too far, that people should live close to South Africa. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now here's the, the, the main thing, the deal. You're taking people to South Africa or wherever, I don't know, it's a particular place. Me, the Lord asked me to come to Ghana. I have, I really have a relationship with the Lord. I'm not saying the Lord didn't send you. No, I'm not saying that. But I will advise Sister Regina to go back and pray very well. The most that the Holy Spirit that teaches me that I work for will never lie to me because I, I am bold to say I am in born again. I live for Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord show me things. He will never lie to me. No spirit will come and show me this. You're taking people, contributing money, card taking people to a particular place. That's not the second exodus. It's okay for you to gather money and say uh, to, to save money and take people uh, that are willing to leave uh, US Babylon to a particular place. My question is, when you take these people there, how will you sustain them if the second exodus has not really started? If the Lord has, is not ready to take us to the wilderness, how will you sustain these people? Anybody listening to this video, Please do not be carried away by any and any in the beginning last year, May or so, I made a video and I said, Second Exodus, many false teachers. Jesus has warned us, be very careful in these last days. The Most High, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the heavens and the earth, the creator of the whole universe, he is able to save you if you're worthy, if he counted you worthy to take you to escape into your hiding place where he wants to keep his church, wherever you are, he's able. What about, what about those that don't have access to the media? 
does that mean because they don't go to a particular location, they will not? I know she's saying, oh, the angels will come for you. I would rather advise you to wait on the Lord. I am feeling in my spirit, I am sensing since some people will go on a journey in the name of Second Exodus. They are going, they will never return. They will miss. I have seen it. Be very careful. Go back to Bible. Be very, very careful who you listen to. Church, believers, be careful who you listen to. Be very careful in these last days. Jesus Christ has warned us that many false prophets shall arise. Jesus has told us that they will deceive many. The days are running so fast. I can't believe that we're already in 2024. Just, just like yesterday. Be wise, be vigilant, be watchful, be prayerful. Read your Bible. Ask the Holy Spirit if you desire. If you cry to know the Lord, He will reveal Himself to you. If you humble yourself. Be wise to know who is speaking. We are in the hour of great deception. I have reminded you again in the word of the Most High. The other day, it like the Lord told me, was it early last year or year before? He told me, said, daughter, the days are already shortened, but my people are not aware. The days are already shortened. Things are going to be happening so fast. Please and please, know the most high for yourself. Not, oh, I'm not see, I, I am only a messenger. I'm not here to set confusion. I am here to remind you of the word the Lord has said and what he showed me. I'm not going to keep it to myself. Sir Regina, I really, really hope that you're doing the right thing. By asking people, the most high is in his infinite person, in his richness, with his mighty hand, is able to save anybody from anywhere. But I must say, how about people that do not have internet, that does not even know about the second exodus and their living rights? Yes, and what about the children? Angels will come for them, right? I have delivered my message. The most I bless you, but before we go, for without holiness, I have so much to say. For without holiness and for without right for without righteousness of which no man can see the most high. For it is appointed for a man to die once afterward is judgment. The most I bless you. Be wise. There's so much work to do out on the streets. So much to do. The most high bless you. I'll see you in my next video if the most high is willing.